In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily use Adobe Premiere Pro to color correct and color grade your video footages. So they're going to turn from something really boring that no one wants to watch them into some cinematic videos that are suitable for the biggest screen. So if you want to learn how to do that super easily, keep watching. Salam my friend, welcome to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel Nimul TV where I post lots of video editing tutorials, tech reviews, vlogs and whole lots of other cool stuff. So if this is your first time watching my videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications and by the end of the video, if you found value in it, make sure to just destroy that like button because it makes me happy and also YouTube algorithm happy. Then it's just gonna push it to more people and then it's helped tremendously for the growth of my YouTube channel. And as I promised to you guys in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to easily implement Adobe Premiere Pro and turn your boring videos into some cool cinematic footages that are super cool and everyone just wants to watch them. We are gonna be doing the color correction first and then the color grading using the software. It's super easy, so I'm just gonna open my Adobe Premiere Pro, create a project, and once I have my project ready, I'm just gonna to go to new and create a new sequence. I'm gonna be doing at 1080, 24 frames per second. I'm just gonna name my sequence, let's say cinematic. I'm gonna hit enter. Now I'm just gonna drag and drop the video that I'll be using, which I already have it ready. I just drag and drop it into my timeline. Let's just zoom in. All right, let me play it for you guys so you see how it looks like right now. So we recorded this at 30 frames per second, but I wanna make it slower. So let me just drag and drop it till here. I'm just gonna mute it because we do not need the audio of this video. So if I just play it, uh, let's just make it slower. I right click, go to speed duration, and I'm gonna switch it down to 24 frames per second, which means 80% of 30 per frames per second. So I just dropped the speed, and now it's gonna look more cinematic because it's slower. Now I'm gonna be adding an adjustment layer, and it's gonna maintain the same settings of our sequence. I just hit OK and drag and drop it on top of our video footage. So whatever effect that I apply to the adjustment layer is gonna be applied to all of the videos beneath it. All right, let's go to our color section. All right, once I go to my color panel, I already have my vector scope activated. I activate the histogram and also the waveform. So I'm gonna be using these for adjusting my colors and white balance. So you see these green and red and blue, they should be aligned on top of each other and make a white color in order for to my white balance be adjusted. And here, it should be concentrated in the center and not leaning towards any of the other colors. And in here, it should be like homogeneously like white from bottom to top. All right, let's start with our color correcting with basic corrections. So I'm going to click on my adjustment layer and in order to start adjusting our white balance, so we should select the point where I know the color in real life is white and I just use the uh, white balance selector. I click on it and just pay attention to my scopes. So if I click over here, it makes some automatic adjustments and I'm going to do some fine adjustments by moving the temperature. So you see the blue and the magenta and green are aligning on top of each other and creating a white. So I'm gonna be playing with my temperature and tint to get the optimum setting for these. And you see, this is also concentrated in the center and this is also a line and just fulfilling the white color. So if I change it, you see, when I change it, it just gets off balance again. And then I just use the temperature to make sure everything is aligned and making the white color. So now that my white balance is adjusted, uh, do we need exposure to be changed? No. The contrast, I'm gonna be adding it a little bit, let's say up to like 16 ish highlights i wouldn't change it because this looks perfect already the highlights the shadows i would increase so some of the details on my backpack kind of pop out and white i wouldn't change it in this one there's no need for that it's already the whites are cool i'm not going to change the blacks and saturation as well all right all right so now we are done with our basic correction i'm going to move to curves so this is our rgb curve we are going to be applying everything to, into this layer. So it's going to be applying it to red, green and blue. I'm going to create an S curve. So I just drag it from the top and also from the bottom to form a curve. This is going to create some contrast between my uh, shadows and highlights. And it's just going to give some life and some cool cinematic vibes into it. So you see how it changes once I deactivate it. And then I'm going to move to hue versus saturation. 
I'm going to choose my green and blue colors, the range, and I'm going to play with my saturation. I want to make it pop up, pop out more. So I just expand it. So you see these colors on these windows. Uh, let's just drag it and I'm going to increase the saturation. And also, you see the yellows on the sidewalk. I'm going to choose the range and just increase the saturation. So the color kind of is going to be more eye catching and more cool. I'm not going to be changing my hue versus hue. It's used when you want to change a color. So let's say if I want to change this yellow, I just choose the range. And as I drag it up and down, it's going to be changed to the color of my choice. I'm not going to be changing the luma of my colors. Also the same with the luma saturation and satch versus satch. I, I won't be changing any of those. All right, now I'm going to be moving to my HSL secondary, which is one, one of my favorites. I'm just going to use the drop, select uh, my background because it's where I want to choose it. I turn on the color gray and just play around with HSL ranges. So all of my background is kind of selected except like myself because I don't want to ruin the colors of my face and my clothes and everything. So just make sure you're selecting as much as possible from the stuff on the background and not the main subject in here. And once I have it, I'm just going to denoise and add some blur so it's not going to be harsh. And I just deactivate my color and I just drag and drop it a little bit towards the blue and I just drop this, the uh, highlights a little bit lower. And then actually I want to drop the temperature so it's a little bit more cool. So I'm just going to drop the temperature a little bit over here. So I just drop it a little bit, but not, not, not too much. Okay. And I'm not going to be changing the tint, contrast and sharpen. I'm not going to be changing those. I'm going to go to the vignette. I'm going to just add some black vignette to the corners and uh, just adjust the midpoints. And that's going to be it. You see, so the vignette HSL secondary, they are doing helping tremendously for our color grading. And you see how, oh my God, we've been coming a long way. Now I'm going to add the crop effect. So I just, from the effects, I look for crop, drag and drop it over my adjustment layer. I want to add some, those uh, cinematic crops. So I, you can go wherever along your adjustments, go to uh, effects control and all the way down, add 12% to the crop from top and bottom. And that's going to be, it. let me play it for you from the beginning. There you go. The, the lag, the playback is because of my system is fine. All right, guys. So this is a super easy tutorial on how to kind of get a start with color correcting and color grading your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me know below in the comments if you had any questions. If you found value in this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Just smash that like button because it's going to make me happy and also YouTube algorithm happy. And it's going to help tremendously on the growth of my YouTube channel. If this was your first time watching my videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications for your weekly dosage of video editing tutorials and until the next video please be safe and mochles